Source Audio, um, a brand very much known for its impeccable high quality audio processing, has officially gone lo-fi. This is Artifact, and you're about to get your bits reduced. And your tapes destroyed. Let's dive in. Where a lot of today's lo-fi offerings specialize in one specific thing, Artifact, on the other hand, seeks to be a one-stop nostalgia solution, as its uh, seven modes takes us from squelching radio frequencies, reel-to-reel -reel tape tones, dirty reverbs, saturated filters, 8-bit arcades, warped vinyls and glitchy sequences, and anywhere in between. First mode on the selector is radio mode, which will give you access to everything from modern broadband sounds to thin bandpass vintage tones that'll screech and squelch into oblivion. Radio artifacts is definitely not something you see in a pedal every day, so I am totally here for it. Tape mode is probably my favorite mode due to its insane versatility. This is not just your classic crinkly warp tape modulation, although it does do that really, really well. But it's also hi-fi chorus, um, through zero flanging, overdrive, Doppler, and stereo ping pong slapback delays.
Verb mode is a lo-fi modulated reverb made up of several short cascading delay lines. Very much in the same ballpark as the uh, iconic Belton brick. And you can dirty up this reverb via the inbuilt distortion and sample reduction. Crush mode is your classic bit crushing gateway to the arcade tones of yesteryear, but with the ability to add in stereo pitch modulation via the option switch. Ladder mode is a static filter, envelope filter, and LFO filter, all in one. And with the ability to add in distortion, change the filter resonance, and cycle through a host of different wave shapes, you can unleash some really cool, gritty, synth-like sounds. Don't, 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 don't,
Vinyl mode is, uh, well, a really convincing vinyl simulator that sports all of the subtle pops, clicks, hiss, and slow dips and bends that'll instantly make your heart overflow with nostalgia. And finally we have glitch mode, which really is the weirdo of the bunch as it dynamically triggers pitch sequences to fill in the, the gaps between your notes.
All right, gang, that's all of the artifact goodness I have for you today. And man, this is a fun one. I, I honestly think all of the modes sound great and, and Source Audio have managed to, to pack some tones in here that you just won't find in other lo-fi devices out there. Personally, I really like uh, radio, tape and crush mode and that's, that's probably because those are the sounds that remind me the most of, of my own childhood. On top of that, Artifact is a stereo and has full MIDI control, meaning that it can be integrated anywhere in a, in a signal chain. And I really like that kind of flexibility. But the biggest win for me, uh, besides the sounds, of course, is this new compact format that Source Audio have made because their old compact devices only had four knobs on the front and uh, hence were highly reliant on you using the, the editor to either create or download presets in order to get the most out of them. But with this one, you get all of the important controls right on the front, just like with their, uh, their bigger pedals. Meaning you only have to use the editor if you really want to. You can easily sculpt your tones right here on the front. And that is awesome. So, if you're looking for a great sounding modulation pedal that'll go from hi-fi to lo-fi and sports all of the modern trimmings, then Artifact might be what you're looking for. All right, thanks for watching. Please consider doing the, the like, comment, subscribe, shuffle in order to appease the mighty YouTube algorithm. And maybe check out this tiny playlist I made for you with uh, some of my other Source Audio demos. And finally, remember, you can find this pedal and many, many more over at thepedalzone.com. Bye.